Okay, I'm not sure. Is, is that good? I think maybe this is good. Hey, what's up? Corky Clark coming at you live with another video. Was the hands too much? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, ignore that. Ignore that. Being a weirdo, as usual, and about to ramble a bunch, probably. So, this is an update to my... Uh, my van tour that I filmed and I told you that I was going to be fixing her up and moving with her this summer I was supposed to be leaving but some things just change life changes uh, so honestly with van life I was just so gung ho and I found this van the first van I looked at it was just gorgeous to me and I could actually stand up in it I, I think maybe someone six foot two could probably stand up in it and so, me being like 5'9", five, 5'10", five, I was super ecstatic to find one that I could actually stand up in, in, in my budget. And so, I was just so gung-ho about it, I didn't honestly take the time to think, is this 30, 40-year-old vehicle going to meet my needs and going to make me feel comfortable enough to drive it across country? There's this, this doesn't even have, what is it, automatic brakes? Uh, has... Is it compressed brakes? Ooh, no, that's not the right word. I don't know. It has a different brake system, and it just, it wasn't good, and I didn't even notice that the floor was starting to rust, and what happened was the whole driver's side seat base just rusted out, and I was left with no driver's side seat. How are you going to drive a van with no driver's side seat? Huh. Don't know. So what I had to do was cut the bolts off of the driver's side plate, and the passenger side plate, I had to cut the bolts with like a sawzall. And so, oh, it was a arduous, arduous task. And I, so I had to move the passenger seat to the driver's seat. And I finally just finished that like four weeks ago. It took me forever to do that. And I just decided that this fan just isn't for me. And it's just, it's too old and it makes my anxiety just spike. Because the one thing I am nervous about is breaking down on the road and is figuring that whole thing out. So what I decided to do instead is uh, buy a travel trailer to attach to my 2007 Ford Ranger. I just believe that I know maintenance and stuff on my Ford Ranger. And I've had, had it long enough and it's, what, uh, 27 years newer than the van. So I just believe... That the Ford Ranger is going to be better for me overall. This keeps shaking. I hope this doesn't look all wobbly and I have to refilm it. Ugh. Anyway. See, oh, I just lost train of, train of track of thought. Track of train of train of track of thought. Anyway. I <laughs> lost my train of thought and hit a bush. Um, Ford Ranger travel trailer yeah so i want to get like a 12 to 16 foot if i could find like a nine footer that would be amazing too but those things are hard to find and they're even more money than like the 24 footers which is ridiculous but it's because they're hard to find and more rare obviously so the rarer something is the higher the demand for it so the supply will be more expensive because there's a higher demand for smaller rather than the huge 24 footers so yeah i want between no bigger than a 16 footer is really what I'm looking for but I don't know well there's actually one that I have on Facebook that I'm really interested in it's a uh, 16 thou 1600 1600 because 16,000 definitely isn't in my budget so yeah um sadly van life the whole first thing didn't happen right for me and I'm stuck in Michigan for another very cold winter coming up but I'm gonna take it as it goes and be a pretend youtuber <laughs> just make videos whenever I want post them I'm gonna try to see if I could since I have like six backlogged from a year ago I'm gonna see if I can uh, try to post one once a week for a while and keep up on it just because it would be fun and I think YouTube's a really fun hobby and I mean I don't think I would ever be able to make it more than a hobby but some of those people who do are making it big eh but I'm probably just a hobbyist and someone who will love to look back at all of these memories and myself when I'm like 80 and see all these videos that I made. I just think that's such a cool aspect of of like life now because think back to like what even, I don't know, 
40, 50, 60 years ago, before we had like video cameras and all that. People didn't have like the ability to film their lives and look back on it like we do now and it's honestly really amazing like to film your life and watch it back as like a tv show slash just just to watch it back like yeah it's it's really interesting concept to me but anyway i've been blabbering way too much about that so yeah i just wanted to hop on here and update about my van i'm gonna be trying to sell it here in the next week or two makes me really sad honestly but you know just got to do what's right for you and when it comes to van life really make sure you're thinking about your options or not even just van life because obviously I'm being a travel trailer so it's not like van life it's not a van but it's still like life on the road so when you're thinking about life on the road and your options and what you want to do just like take everything into consideration and really think about it and Make sure you know what you're getting yourself into and be very thorough with vehicle checks. I mean, most of you probably know this, and I'm just the dumb idiot who just went gung-ho for a day, and I had my dad with me, but he's not much help. Anyway, back to the subject of what we're speaking on. I go off of track way too fast. Um. So, yeah... I don't know if I should end this off with just like a little tour, but it looks exactly the same as the van tour, so I don't really see why I do a tour. Maybe I, I'll try to get all like photographic and just do like some snippets put together of some cool stuff so I have it. We'll see. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. Quirky Clark here. If you think that you liked this random talk wobbly camera looking ass video you could always hit that subscribe button if you want to and if you didn't like this video i probably understand why but i mean there's always the other button opposite of the like button i guess <laughs> if you want to <laughs> uh, anyway yeah so thanks for watching also also just a little plug here just because instagram's my favorite I love posting on Instagram, and I have some, in my expert opinion, great photos on Instagram. So if you want to go follow me over there on Instagram, it's just Quirky Clark with a low underscore between the Quirky and the Clark. Because I'm not cool enough to be one word. So, ha! <laughs> I'm just ridiculous. Okay. Anyway, so Instagram, hit me up, bro. If you ever want to message me, I would love to have friends all over the country. I would love if you're think if you're a traveler, if you're thinking about doing van life or anything like that, maybe to hook up one day. Cause I was thinking it would be fun to like. I don't know if you know Asha from Pandemonium, her little tribe that she has. I, I was thinking it'd be fun to have people like that that you can meet up with or visit throughout your travels and just experience travels with other people because I mean traveling alone is awesome and gaining the experience of traveling in general is awesome but when you have people and companions that you can share memories with and stuff it's even more awesome obviously even more awesome yeah so those words came out of my mouth even more awesome so I mean if you ever want to hit me up on Instagram and maybe talk about travels talk about van life anything like that I would always love a message, and I'm looking outside the window while talking instead of at the lens. <laughs> Seriously, my video should just be like YouTube don'ts. I'm probably going to watch this back and cringe and be like, you should delete that shit. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. I got off track about Instagram once again. Yay me. Anyway, I've said Instagram six times in the last two minutes probably. I'm going to say it again. Instagram, Quirky Clark underscore what? <laughs> oh, and uh, I guess I sound like I'm a big YouTuber, but you follow me, I follow you back. Hey, hey, like I don't know the first ten people. Um, yeah, so I'm just sitting here trying to think of more things to blabber about when I just shut the camera off and do a few little, like, 
snippet shots. All right. I think I said thanks for watching, but I'm going to say it again. And I'm just going to edit what I got to edit, man. I'm just going to edit. So, hopefully, I will have life on the road videos and travel videos and better videos than what's going on before this coming up this upcoming summer which i know i said last video which was a year ago but sometimes things in life just happen and more things happened this last year than just the van seat rusting out and some other difficulties have happened this year which not ready to talk about that situation at the moment but yeah there's just such a pile up of things and just kind of showed me that I'm not quite ready and I think I need another year to just kind of get crap together and it's good to be honest with yourself even if you do have a dream and even if you do want to move with your move on with your life and you know get stuff going you have to be realistic about life and you have to know your bounds and when you're ready and when you're not and you can't lie to yourself you just have to be honest and know when you're when it's right and when it's wrong and it's okay to have setbacks and it's okay to have plans not end up how you want them but in the end you just gotta go with it sometimes which sometimes I feel like I sound like such a hypocrite because it's very hard sometimes to not be all negative and be all sad and stuff because stuff didn't go the way you planned it to Anyway, I'm getting all weird again and stary offy and getting all into the depressing side of things. Anyway, okay, okay. Turn off the camera now, Haley. Stop blabbing to it. Camera can just be my, you know, therapist. Do you want to be my therapist, camera? Slash people behind the camera? Y'all just tell me how bad I am at this. It's fine. I can take criticism like a trooper. Took it all my life. I'm sure... I dislike myself more than you dislike me, so come at me with the haterade comments.